Hey there dorks, Dorkerific here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Extreme Minecraft Makeover. <laughs> Today's a Monday episode, but it's going to be coming out on Tuesday because I haven't really been in the best of health lately. I slept on my back wrong or something, and it really, really hurts to sit in this chair right now. But it's, I'm okay, I'm, I've got some like Advil in me, so I should be fine, so no worries. But I do appreciate all the tweets and everything that you guys have been sending me on Twitter. It warms my heart and knows that you guys care. <laughs> I love you guys so much. But today, we are recording some Minecraft. And I did a, um, a Minecraft live stream a while back. Or it was a few days ago. It was like late, late. Ooh, I missed some coal. Apparently there's more gravel up there. <laughs> but um, it was late, late, late at night. And I was just digging down here for some diamond because I need to find some diamond so that I can make so that I can get obsidian to make another portal to get some glowstone because I wanted to make glowstone. And uh, yeah, if you were in the live stream with me, there was quite a few people. I'm surprised how many people were actually there. And uh, if you were there with me, you'll know that I had a I had run into a few scares and they scared me to death. One was a zombie. It was like. He looked like a freaking army man. He had camo on, camo on so it's kind of hard to see him. But I'm just going to try to run right by this Enderman. Try not to. Oh crap, I went the wrong way. I'm using a texture pack too. I forgot what it's called. Actually, I should probably figure that out. Hold on. Let me find it. Deathscape. I'll leave a link in the bottom the description or whatever. But yeah, this is just like a real smooth... I like the way this stone looks. It looks stony, if you could, if that's a word. I just made it one, because I'm awesome like that. <laughs> Hello, Skelly. Come here. Ooh. See, look, the zombies have like armor and stuff on them. Get out of here. They have like little camo outfits. Some of them do, some of them don't. Look at that one. I don't think we go this way, no. Stop trying to hit me, you jerk. No, I remember going this way, and then it got turned around. Here we go. I'm going to leave this iron for now, because I've got plenty. I just want to get out. <laughs> Alright, um... I have two torches. I'm going to light this up so that nothing spawns. And jumps down onto my head. That would suck. Now, um... Did we go this way? I think we came from this way pretty sure we did. If not, we can always turn around and go right back. Wait. Oh, yay! It's my furnace. Okay. I'm gonna get some of this iron because it is a gathering episode, so yeah, I want to get some of it. And I've got a few questions that I asked you guys to ask me on Twitter and they keep streaming in and I'm so happy for that. Thank you so much for wanting to know about myself and yeah, it, it makes me happy, <laughs> not gonna lie. But let's get to the first one, and it's from none other than the Blue Sandwich, who is a sexy British girl, or whatever, whatever he calls himself these days, I don't know. But he wants to know why I'm in black and white, and I'm, I'm guessing he's referring to my Twitter picture, <laughs> and there's no real explanation for it, it's just uh, color is for noobs. And the picture just looked better in black and white. That's all I'm saying. No real purpose. I just, I like to, I tried it first in like the sepia color, like the brownish tint, but I like the black and white better. It just looked cooler. All right. That is, yeah, I said who that was from. Der, 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 der. But yeah, there's no real purpose for the black and white. It just looked cooler. That's all I'm saying. Wee. We Okay. We got all of that. I can take down my little... Hopefully no, there's nothing down here to greet me. Pigaboo. Pigaboo. Yeah, I was digging down here for ages looking for diamond. It took so long. That was really dark. I should probably light that up. Phew. 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 I don't like it. Don't like. Me no likes. Okay, um... I've forgotten how to get... Oh, I think we, we go that way. I remember now. 
All right, number question number two. What, this is from x underscore x kitty, or kitten, which I'm, I'm assuming your contagious kitten from the live streams that we've been doing. And she asks, what, or wait, was there a particular YouTuber who inspired you to start making videos? And I'm not really sure if there's a particular YouTuber to inspire me to start videos in general. But, um, because I started with, um, with Portal. I started with Portal 1, and then it spur, it, like, expanded to Minecraft, but I actually was, t um, I made a Minecraft build. I built a, um, oh, what's it, what is it called? Creeper. I built, like, a giant creeper one time, and it's on my old channel. I don't know if it's still up there. I might could find it and, and link it in this video too. But um, yeah, I made a giant creeper and I'm gonna get all this stone. It's really hard for me to concentrate right now. <laughs> I made a giant creeper and I had gotten a comment or just like a, it was either a comment or message and I can't find it anymore. Maybe the person deleted it or something. But they just was like, telling me, oh, you should maybe try to make some tutorial, like some Minecraft commentary. And I had thought nothing about that until that person just kind of suggested it. And I had been watching people doing um, commentary up until that point. That's what, I don't know, it didn't really, I didn't really, I wasn't really talking that much in that video, but I guess they just thought I'd be a good commentator, which at the moment, at the time, I did not think so at all. I was, I thought it'd be so boring to listen to. Because, <laughs> I mean, to be a commentator, you have to, I don't know, you have to be social. You have to be, you have to talk about things, and I just didn't really think that I could do that. I don't remember which way we go. It's one of these, I think this is it. This is over here. Yeah, this is definitely it. But you've got to have a certain way of talking and a way of um, just thinking, really. But at first, like everybody, I'm sure, I wasn't that wonderful at it. <laughs> I mean, you get used to it and and you learn how to commentate better and just, it just, you just grow. You learn how to be yourself while you're recording. And... I guess I'm kind of getting off the question, I think. I'm straying, because I'm trying to find my way out of here. Here we go, yay. No bad guys, we made it. Awesome, okay. Okay, who inspired me? Um, making, well, who inspired me to play Minecraft was actually, I was watching this guy, his um, YouTube name is OMFG Kata, and he introduced me to Sly Fox, which, at the time, I had no idea who he was, and I thought he was just some crazy character that was a lot of fun to watch, and didn't even know what Minecraft was, really. And I started watching Sly Fox's videos, and got into, he actually inspired me to get the game, and check it out, and just play it, really. And he, he taught me a lot. And, um, yeah. He's, I guess he, you could say he was the one that inspired me to make Minecraft commentary, at least. <laughs> but general commentary, like my portal stuff, that wasn't, that wasn't really a YouTuber. I don't, I don't think he was a YouTuber. He was just someone who viewed my, my build and thought it was good. So, <laughs> I suppose, oh, that, that looked like a creeper for a second. So, yeah, I guess you could say Sly Fox slash OMFG Kata was the one who started it all, but in all honest, honesty, it was that one comment that I had gotten who kind of spurred, spurred the, uh, or stoked the flame, stoked my commentating flame, if you want, if you will. But yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Thank you for the question. Uh, okay, next <laughs> comes from Vance, or Vancy Pants, if you have been watching my, um, my sweater, sweater, Star Wars The Old Republic video. 
you will know who Vance is, and he's an awesome guy. He's very funny, and I do enjoy playing sweater with him. But um, he asked, because I, I had mentioned that I had made pancakes and eggs and stuff today, so I'm guessing that's where this com this uh, question come from. But he asks if, uh, how, how do I like my eggs? And I actually made my eggs scrambled today, and that's usually how I will eat them, how I, I enjoy them the most. But my mother has got the talent to make a mean, like, I guess you would call it fried, I, I'm guessing. Like, she, she lays it in the pan, and without breaking the yolk, she, like, it cooks it on one side, and then she flips it in half and cooks that side, I guess. I'm not real sure what you would call it, but it is delicious. That's what I'll call it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm guessing scrambled is normally the way I like them. Thank you, Vancy, for that question. Sorry, my nose keeps on itching. Hope y'all can't hear that. That's gross. But yeah. Thanks again for the question. And we have another one. Let me scroll up on my other screen. This is from Sar. I always say your name wrong, I think. Sayari? Sayaria? <laughs> Coolio1. And she asks would, I, would you ever get to know a few of your fans a bit more by chatting with them somehow over the internet? And I have done that before. I've met quite a few of my fans, I guess you could say. That sounds so weird me saying it but yeah I've, I've done that before they just have to you just have to not be you I don't want to say this and be like offend anybody but you have to be persistent but not to the point of annoying like a message every hour every day like on YouTube or be a Twitter or anything that's annoying but once a day I could see that would be perfect like just I can't stand it when people message me every hour I just it really really gets old and you won't get anything that way you'll just get an ignore <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say I'm, I don't want to be mean or anything but yeah I don't I don't like that I don't like it one bit and I'm sure a lot of people can agree with me that being that persistent is very annoying but yeah don't take offense to that it's just it's just how it is for me I mean yeah I don't want to offend anybody <laughs> all right but yeah if um the attack arises I mean it's just up it's just about personality and if we click well together and just how the person is that's really what what really gets me interested in who a person is, you know, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> All right, we have another question from Miss Christina, Christina RTC on Twitter. She is the one who made a, um, she made a judgment, a beggar from the Binding of Isaac, and she's going to send it to me, and I'm so excited so excited to get it it is so adorable i liked it on my like i liked it oh man i liked it on facebook or not facebook youtube there i liked it there i'm sorry it's really hard for me to to like do stuff and think about what i'm trying to say at the same time oh check this out bam holy crap i'm gonna let that all disintegrate while I talk but I liked it on YouTube and it it tweeted it out that I had, had liked it and um, I'll link it also in this video but it is an amazing little she looks like a little plush doll and he is so adorable I cannot wait to get him I'm gonna be making I'll like take a picture with him or something and but it is my my uh, my what you call it my uh, um, avatar, I guess you could say it. User picture, heck, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anymore. But yeah, I'll do that because it is so cute. And she asks, are there any games that you're looking forward to playing this year? 
And we'll ask the same sort of thing. What games do you look forward to playing? And I'm going to have to say, I'm definitely looking forward to Mass Effect 3. That is going to be so much fun to play. I cannot wait. Guild Wars 2, because I've played Guild Wars, the first Guild Wars. Guild Wars, yeah. Number one. Holy crap, look at all this wood. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. I've played Guild Wars completely through. I finished the game completely and loved it. And can't wait for Guild Wars 2 because it's going to be a lot of fun, I feel. And, hmm, let's see. I'm not real sure what other games are coming out that I know of. But those two, definitely. I'm definitely going to get and play and probably won't hear from me for a few weeks. Because <laughs> when I, I, I don't know. When I play Mass Effect, I don't know. I tend to not get completely involved in the game, if you want to say it like that. I don't tend to, I don't know what the word is I'm trying to, trying to say here, but, oh, hello tree. I don't tend to lose myself in the game like some people do. Like, I don't know. If you get what I'm saying, like, I'll, I'll maybe play it for a few hours max and then I'll put it down and and um and go play it go play something else or take a break from the computer just to I don't know I don't want to like burn myself out on a certain game because I know I can do that I've done that before and it's not fun but yeah I believe those are the two games that I'm super stoked about and cannot wait for and before before the game I was looking forward to was Star Wars The Old Republic I, I do enjoy that game, even though I don't play it as much as I thought I would, because of I'm like super busy now, and I am enjoying the heck out of life <laughs> and all that good stuff. But yeah, I mean, life happens, and I am super happy with where I am right now, <laughs> and I am super happy of how much support you guys give me. I love you guys to death so much, and I just I want you to know that too. I really do, and I'm not just saying that just because I can, you know. I really do appreciate the amount of support you guys give me and just everything you bring to the table, and I couldn't be more happier. That totally didn't come out right. I couldn't be more happy, not happier. <laughs> but yeah gonna just get some of this wood. There's another tree that spawned and not, none of those things are gonna come down from there. No. Dang it. Gonna take these up so that another, no more spawn. Get out of there, wood. I'm really, I guess you would call it anal about getting every little piece of wood from a tree, but I think I'm gonna leave this one alone because I have no more room. <laughs> oh no. I'll, I'll get rid of the sticks. Alright, uh, there's one little piece right there. Ugh, I can't get it. It's not gonna fall. There it goes. Yay. Oh, look at my little palace. You can see it from here. Alright, I think that's good for now. Let's go and get started. Yep, I'm gonna be... I think I'm gonna start building... Well, I should probably check the time, because I don't want this video to run too long. Too terribly long, but... I think I want to finish the other side over there. Oh, if I haven't done it already, I might have. Oh, I don't know if I showed you guys this in the last video, but I, I made... Instead of making that a room, like a room, I made it like a little deck. So yeah, that looks really good. Oh yeah, I did finish that one. Good. I think I did that one on the live stream. Ugh. Itchy nose, itchy nose is no fun when recording, that's for sure. <laughs> Oops. Alright, one second. Let me check the time and I'll be right back. 
Alrighty, 20 minutes. So yeah, I think this is going to be it, you guys. <laughs> I didn't expect to be talking for 20 minutes long. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you got a little bit closer to who I am with the questions that I asked and who and what I like and stuff like that. But I do appreciate your your comments and your and your your Twitter messages and everything and if you don't know my Twitter it's at dorky girl plays. I'll link it in the bottom bar like I always do. Everything you'll you'll need to know from this episode is gonna be in the bottom bar. Don't worry. I always put it there. <laughs> but um yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Oh, 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 keep it dorky. Ha <laughs> almost forgot. Oh my goodness.